So I actually got asked to revisit my max damage far. I posted one on my main channel a very long time ago, and it seems like people are still interested in this build or people are still using it to this day. So they wanted me to revisit and see if, if it still holds up. Oh my God, the whole team's there. That was not what I was expecting. Jesus Christ. Personally, I'm definitely more of a fan of my movement build, to be 100% honest with you. I think my movement build just has more to offer as far as versatility. This one's definitely a better like, long-range choice. But from a perspective of faster killing, definitely this for sure. A bunch of them snuck through. My team's not really moved up the map here. They're going to push me out. I got to back up. Oh, we're using marshals. You stinky butt. You stinky butt. Okay. Well, his name is your trash and he's using a marshal. So I think that speaks volumes to the type of player he is. I don't know how this guy snuck through. Did he sneak this way? The answer is yes, man. I'm getting bad timing. I mean, I've talked about this before, actually. Would it, how entertaining would it be for me to just walk around and play like this, man? Like people have no sack on them anymore. They don't run around. They're too scared. They're too scared to just play, man. That you think you're getting through. No, sir. Why am I always running into the Marshall guy? You're so, uh, the weenie butt. Weenie butt. He likes weenies in his butt. I mean, what? On my screen, that man. Oh, I'm getting cheesed. I'm getting cheesed like that. Oh no, when I hit fire, that shit doesn't happen to me. I promise you it doesn't. Damn, that's a long shot. Oh, they're all on the... Oh, teammates frying. Look at him go. I need these bullets. This is an aggressive game. I vibe with it, even though I'm raging a little bit. I mean, that, that happens, you know? That is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Of course, it's freaking guy with the marshal. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? That's a quad fiend. You got a four, four KD still. So I, can't, I can't complain. I can't complain. 27. I need to heal. Thank you. That's a lot of them. Nope. You go that way, teammate. I'm good. No, thanks. Again, no bullets. There's where your damage is coming in handy, I promise you. Look at that. Close range, man. What more you need? All right. I'm at 34. Not exactly the most ideal score line. Package 
All right, I need this now. Yep. Give me. I'm going to get two artilleries. Hold on. All right. I got two artilleries to work with. Got a double kill. I'm at 45. I just really picked up that pace. I think I just, yep. We're going to get this 50 bomb. At least we should. There's one kill. And your trash has left the game. Marshall, use her down. Brother, you tried. You tried. Not good enough. Bet you're sad. Bet you're sad. You down here? No? Nobody down here? Hello? 53. And we're out of here, just like that. We're gonna scoot our batuti out of here. God, crazy what happens when I tee the hell up. Bring it back here, boy. Oh, you're there. All right, we're sneaking behind him. This could be last kill. Yes, sir. 58 and eight. I mean, we really turned that game around. Let me tell you, that was a rocky start. Absolutely horrendous start. And we started just going in. So I want to start by saying this is a setup. You are going to need the wild card of gunfighter, which is going to give you the ability to run eight attachments. So that's the first thing you guys need to make sure you have on. For my first attachment, it is going to be the Microflex LED. At the end of the day, it's a preference. I know the iron sights are pretty clean or possibly a different optic altogether is what you can run. For the muzzle, I'm going with the Spetsnaz Compensator here to control some recoil. We are going with the max damage barrel, which in turn is going to sacrifice recoil control. So you're going to need attachments like this one. That barrel I was just referring to is the Spetsnaz RPK. It's going to increase your damage by 3%, along with damage region bullet velocity by 15%. But as you can see, we are sacrificing recoil control, like I said. For my body, I do have the KGB target designator. It's going to put a little dot above your enemy's head while you're aiming down the sight. Now, for our under barrel, we have the Spetsnaz grip, a little more recoil control, this time primarily focusing on the horizontal, seeing as how we took care of a lot of the vertical with the muzzle. For the magazine, I did use a 50 round mag another preference style here you can really use whatever you want the handles the grew last grab to get the most out of that aim down sight speed and the kgb skeletal stock here is to increase that sprint to fire and aim walking speed here's going to be all those attachments on the screen i know there's a lot to uh copy down here so if you guys need to pause the video now would be the time to do so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next one